Hi guys, Tracy here from uh, Red Wind Studio for the Spring Bunny Workshop. I'll wait a minute or so, see if anybody else pops on here with me. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Just going to wait a minute and uh, see if anybody pops on to uh, work along with me with their bunnies. I know some people said that they were planning on it, so going to give it a, a couple of minutes. Hello. Okay, so it's showing that seven people are watching. I hope um I hope everybody is here that um, needs to be here. It's, I'm having a hard time seeing the screen that's right in front of me. So if you notice me looking over to the side, I have my laptop um, set up, but it doesn't seem to be showing me um, what you guys are saying. So <laughs> anyways, uh, hopefully everybody is on here and I have the, the bunny here in front. Now, as you can see, um, the front has the lines drawn into it for the ears and the eye and the nose and on the back it's plain. So on the front we're going to do um, painting it all in. Then we're going to do like a white dry brush over the entire thing and then this, the same with this. So that being said, we're going to, I gave you guys all um, little containers of paint and I've got my colors here. So it doesn't matter what colors you do your flowers. It's entirely up to you. You don't have to follow me exactly. And I forgot to bring my can opener over closer. Hold on just a second. Sorry, guys. I have it uh, over on the other side of the table. My arms aren't that long. So, okay, handy dandy can opener. So I um, gave you five colors. The white obviously is for the dry brushing as you can see in the original pictures. And then we've got Zuzu Petals, which is the, the pink. And then we've got um, Tuscan Sun is the yellow. We've got Ferrosi, Ferrosi for the blue. And these are nice soft spring Eastery colors and then verdigris is the green so nice and soft and then the white is the is the warm white so it's not too stark so um, let's see here so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint in the small areas first you'll need a small brush for this I like to wet my brushes ahead of time. It just helps prevent the paint from getting dry up around the, the furl, which is the metal part. And let's see, I'm going to go with um, blue to start. And I'm just going to brush it on. Just like so. actually got a bit of the shakes today for some reason. And I try not to have too much on my brush so that it doesn't slop over the edge. I want to keep it mostly on the surface. Go and let's see. 
let's see, let's see, what other ones? Do this little guy down here. Can you guys see okay? Move that up a little bit closer. So is anybody else on here watching? Can everybody see okay? I'm going to do this one. And I just drag my brush around. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that. So that I'm not getting it out onto the, the bunny part. The little dots in the middle that are cut out, I wouldn't worry about going around those too carefully. You can paint those in with another color afterwards, even if you've covered it with a different color first. The fat paint covers up pretty easily. And then, so you, if you didn't get water, you should get a little container of water so that you can uh, clean your brush out in between colors. I'm just going to wipe it off, rinse it out. Clean it up really well. And then let's go to some yellow and I think I want the tulip to be yellow. The yellow, because I'm going um, using it on the big flower on the tulip, I will probably do two coats of the yellow on this. How's everybody holding up with uh, all this social distancing and self-isolation? Is anybody in self-isolation? Did anybody go away and have to self-isolate when they came back from vacation or anything? I'm just reading here what uh, Michelle is saying. I will be painting the flowers and the details on the front. The back will be um, dry brushed in white in the entirety. Um, that doesn't mean you guys can certainly, if you want to paint the, the backs of the flowers in, in the colors, you can. Um, there's probably enough paint. I It was hard to give you the, the tiny little amount that you really needed for these guys. so. Um, there's probably enough paint for you to, to color in the, the back if you want to. That's entirely up to you. And on these, um, what else am I going to do in yellow? Hmm. Let's do, let me do this little guy down here. And if you're doing the little ones, if you hold your brush, more at an angle to cut in where the the leaves are it's it's easier than trying to hold the brush flat like that I don't have any music playing here in the studio when you're live on Facebook Facebook doesn't like music and uh, it would uh, block my video so um, there's a copyright pause and all that kind of stuff so I'm sitting here in the dead quiet which I don't particularly like um, I love to have music playing all the time but it's a sacrifice for you guys that I'm making <laughs> Okay, so, um, 
let's go to the pink now. So get my water again. I'm gonna rinse up my brush. and then pink so this is Zuzu's petals and I'm going to do the rest of the flowers in this one Now because um, you had to ask to join this group, I'm going to go really quick over to my laptop here. If I disconnect, bear with me, I will be right back. I'm going to go in and see if I make sure that everybody that wanted to be included is included. So hopefully this doesn't mess anything up. Um, it shouldn't because I'm using my phone for the video. So let's see here. Um, oops, there we go. And I just want to make sure that there isn't any requests to join. There is. I want to make sure that. There we go. Okay, everything is good. Everything is good. So you guys are my guinea pigs for this. Um, I've never done, I've done lots of live videos. I've never done um, one on the group page and nothing for a workshop for you guys to work along with me. Um, if anybody is working along with me, give me a a wave or something. If there is anybody working along and you have questions, feel free to, to type them in there um, and I'll try to answer them. This is pretty straightforward. You don't really need an awful lot of guidance. The, the big thing is going to be the, the dry brushing and me showing you how to do that. Um, but this is basically like doing a coloring book. You could paint the, the flowers all one color if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. It's your bunny. Okay, make sure I didn't miss any flowers. Does that look pretty good? Let me flip this up and turn it around. So those are the flowers all painted. And because I'm working on the pink, we wanna do the ears ears of the bunny in pink. And I'm just, I don't know if you can see, I have written words in front of me so it's kind of hard to to see what I'm doing in the in the video. But I'm just using the, the, the corner of the brush, this tip here, to get in to the pointy part of the, the ear. Okay, let's see. Uh, Michelle is asking, do you recommend, recommend using the same small brush for all the inside of the bunny? I'm using the same brush. I'm just uh, putting it in water, rinsing it off and uh, in my little bucket of water here. And then I have a paper towel and I'm just wiping it. Um, that's all you need. You don't need like a whole bunch of brushes. I have a bigger brush for if it's still dripping wet sorry um, I have a bigger brush that's what we'll be doing the the dry brushing with um, it'd be too hard to do it with a little wee tiny thing like this you want a more normal size brush when we get to doing doing the white part um, but one brush one small it doesn't even have to be an expensive artist brush just a little cheap one is fine that's all you need
everybody is used to painting. I paint pretty fast. I've been doing this for a long time, so I'm used to handling a paintbrush. Um, take your time. Uh, if you struggle or if you have the, the shakes a bit, less paint on your brush and just doing smaller little, little areas at a time um, sometimes works better than having your brush have a lot of paint on it. Um, And then just smooth it out so that it's not sort of lumpy. Going back over it with a really light hand, like hardly having any pressure pushing down on it, will smooth those ridges out. Um, when you have a fair amount of paint on your brush and you're brushing along and you're getting it distributed, usually you wind up with sort of, it's almost like, like a ridge like that kind of idea. Um, and if the paint dries like that, you'll see those ridges. So if you just go back over them, um, once there's a lot less paint on your brush and just use a really light hand with not much pressure, just drag it along. It'll help remove those and smooth it out. So you can see I'm probably going to need a second coat. The ears are a little blotchy, which is fine, but um, I'm going to do a second coat on that. You can um, do a little dot on the nose and on the eye if you want um, of one of the colors. I think maybe I might do, I don't remember whether I painted the nose on the other ones or not. I'm going to do a little bit of pink on the nose. And I think I'll just leave the eye the way it is. And now I'm going to go back down to the flowers and I'm going to do my second coat on the flowers. My pink on the flowers is almost dry. So I'm just going to go over my pink flowers again. There we go, and let's see, I'm going to rinse my brush off. I'll come back, the ears are still too wet, I don't want to do a second coat on those yet, they're definitely too wet. Okay, so let's do the yellow again and do my second coat. And this one down here. Is anybody else struggling with keeping their hands away from their face? I tell ya. I've, uh, I'm washing them all the time, but I still, I'm still touching my face. And it still worries me, even though I'm washing my hands all the time. And I don't get that many people coming in the, in the store. It's, I'm not like a grocery store where I have, like, tons and tons of people in here all at the same time but um, still every time somebody comes in when they leave I go wash my hands and I 
sanitize the door and I sanitize the pad and everything on the for the debit machine and credit card machine but um, as of today we're closed so um, it's a strange times ladies but we'll make it through it fingers crossed everybody um, all the small businesses out there survive this and um, everybody local supports them when we get to reopen it's going to be tough times for a lot of people even even the big businesses having to shut down all the employees that are that are being laid off and out of work it's um it's scary so we all have to sort of pull together and help however we can whoever needs the help um, and for those of you that need a little creative outlet i'm here for you i will try to do my best okay let's see now back to the blue and we'll get second coat of blue on the flowers the blue covers really well I don't necessarily really need a second coat of blue but I'll do it anyways I'm not going to give it a distressed look, Michelle. It's going to, it, I guess it's going to sort of look distressed because I'm going to dry brush it and that's going to give it um, sort of a, I guess an aged look, sort of a distressed look because the, the, the stain from the bunny is going to show through um, when you do the white washing or the, the dry brushing, the white dry brushing on it. Um, it does sort of give it that distressed look but I'm not gonna sand it at all, which is typically how you uh, achieve a distressed, a distressed look. Make sure we go down here. And out again. Now those little spots in the middle of the flowers, the little circles, um, I forget what they're called on a real flower, but we want to do a different color in those. We don't want to leave them just solid. So I'm going to go into my yellow. I'm just going to get a little tiny bit on my brush. I'm just going to touch the little dot on the blue flower. Can you see that? Just a little wee dot. And then, see I just touched my face again. Here on the bigger one, same idea, just a little bit more paint. And I'm just using the corner of the brush. Unless you have a, a brush with a, that's more pointy. Oh, I just swapped, oh well. wasn't paying attention. There we go. And we can touch that up with some blue afterwards. And let's do pink. So the same idea, just the corner of the brush and I'm just sort of almost like dots to get the paint into that little circle. Well, it's more of an oval, I guess, not really a circle. There we go. Go like that. Can you see? Clean this off again. Because the yellow flower has a little circle in the middle. Of it, and it doesn't really make sense to do yellow and yellow. So do I go pink or blue? Let's go blue. I'm going to do a little blue dot. Just like that. Okay. Now, my ears are dry. My bunny ears, not my ears. My 
normally are usually dry too, but you know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to paint the ears, get our second coat on the ears, and then we'll go into the green and we'll do all the leaves. So let's get Mr. Bunny's ears painted up here. And to get up in the corner, you can use the corner, just the corner of your brush to do that with a little bit of paint and then you can dip back in and get more paint for when you get into the wider section down here. And over to the other ear. It's going to be strange coming into the studio over the next while and having the doors locked and nobody coming in. But the nice thing is um, when I started Redwind Studio, I started it in my home when I was still living in Cornwall. So I had an attached garage and I had um, a spare room that was my office. So between my office and the attached garage, that's where I did all my work. Um, it wasn't overly warm in there in the winter time. So I did a lot of the work in my, in my office slash spare, spare room. And I like rock, I like heavy rock music. So it's gonna be a, a, um, a bit of a difference because I play a sort of middle of the road music that um, most people are okay with. So with the store being closed, I can play my heavier rock music and have it a little louder with the doors closed. So I'll be bebopping around while I'm painting furniture in here and um, doing lots of things to get the store filled back up so it'll be nice and full when we get, get to reopen again because I have a big hoard of furniture down in the basement that I can spend my time painting. Um, so that's what I'll be doing while the store is closed is uh, maybe I'll come on live a few times and do some crafty things maybe some um, I have some canvas bags that I can stencil up I have some pillows I can stencil up um, some other projects that I'm working on that maybe I can go live while I'm doing those and um, maybe it'll be entertaining for you. Mm, we'll see. Um, but yeah, maybe I can do stuff like that. So let's see. So these are done. Let's wash the brush again and we'll go on to the green. And then we're just going to paint the leaves and the stems all green. This green covers really, really well. So chances are we won't have to do a second coat. If you miss spots, you can certainly go back in and, and touch those up if you want. And you're certainly welcome to paint the bit, the, I can't talk, the back side if you want to. The paint dries pretty quick, so by the time I get this green all painted on here, um, we should be pretty close to being able to do the of white dry brushing. Let me just double check once I get this on here and make sure that
miss any spots. While I have you guys on here, is there anything while I'm closed um, and I, I guess I sort of will have the time that you would like to see videos of that um, maybe you'd like to learn something I can show you guys, explain how to do it or, or I don't know, you guys can uh, let me know. You can post here, you can um, message me, say, hey Tracy. I have a project that I'm working on. I'd like to see how you do this effect or that effect or um, give me some ideas to help keep me busy and keep you guys entertained. And I don't expect this social distancing to uh, to end anytime soon. So I think we're in it for the long haul, unfortunately, but it's what we need to do. Can make the make the best of it and keep ourselves entertained and get creative and all those projects that you never had time to do before um, maybe you'll have a bit of extra time now to do them I know a lot of people are still able to uh, continue working from home my husband is one of the lucky ones he uh, his job won't won't be affected um, he'll, he's working from home, um, he's in the tech industry, so we are, we are very fortunate that way. Um, a lot of people aren't so fortunate. You know, look at things on the positive side, he has been working away from home for well, it was over six months he was he was gone, so he's back now because all traveling for his company had been um, had been banned a few weeks ago. So he came home, and so we're all together now, which is great. I'm happy about that. Our boys are happy to have him home. Okay, Michelle, what do you have here? What shade of green is this? So this one is verdigris. Um, I think, you know, did you buy this? I don't remember, but yeah, this is this is verdigris. Um, it's backwards, but that's, that's the name there because I'm on my phone, so it flips everything around backwards. Um, and then you've got, uh, Anything related to that? I'm interested in the IOD transfers. Anything related to that? I'm interested. Oh, okay, so you want me to do a, a like a demo on um, the IOD transfers? Is that what you're asking, Michelle? I actually have a some windows downstairs that I was thinking of doing some IOD transfers on it would be fun and maybe once this is all over that might be a workshop if I can get my hands on some windows that are basically all the same size 
um, to do a workshop with those. That might be something fun. You can paint the frame of it and then um, and then use an IOD transfer on the window. So I'll see what I can do about that, Michelle. See if I can come up with a a demo for the, the transfers. Okay. I'm gonna blow on it, get it a little bit. Oh, I missed the spot. So that's looking pretty good. Flip this around so you can see the money. So that's it there. So do you see? Little dots and I there we go so just need to let that dry up a little bit like this get the green to dry I'm going to have a couple of sips of my tea that's over here while that dries up and then and we're gonna get the lids on the paint and then I have people looking in the window at me I think they think I'm crazy I'm talking to myself and uh, they're watching me so <laughs> it's kind of funny anyways um yes so I'm just putting the lids on the paint here so that they don't get thick and goopy get those out of the way have a sip of my tea And if you wet, if you wet your dry, your your bigger brush, um, I shouldn't have wet mine. I wasn't thinking. So <laughs> I'm trying to dry it off with a paper towel here. When you're when you're doing dry brushing, you you want to have your brush really dry and uh, yeah, and not have it stuck in in the water, which is what I did. So let me get this dried off and. The green is drying up pretty quick here, and it'll just be another couple of minutes or so. I'm, is that what you're saying on popular? Because people are standing there staring in my window. <laughs> I think they're wondering why the lights are on because nothing's open here in downtown Preston right now. So, um, that's what it's all about. It's not because I'm popular, Michelle. I wish it was. <laughs> Almost dry. Could get my hair dryer out and dry it up extra fast but I don't think we need to do that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set that aside for now and then we've got our base here and we can certainly um, start on the dry brushing of that and I'll show you how to do that so you need a piece of paper towel and now I have the hiccup go and then you want your white and the can opener and then give this a little shake I have to clean the lid off on this because it's not sealing properly but okay all right so when you're gonna dry brush it, you're literally wanting to have a fairly dry brush, hence the name. So I'm going to dip in to my paint and I'm going to show you this. So there's a fair amount of paint on the brush, but I'm going to scrape it along the edge like that. And I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to wipe some of the paint off. 
Now, when you're dry brushing, you don't want to set your brush down and then drag it along because you're going to have a blob. You know, you don't want blobs, not with dry brushing. Um, so you want to have your brush in motion when you come in contact with your board. So you're going to just hit it lightly. And you're just going to build up the, the paint. You can go as light or as heavy. If you wanted to paint it all out white, you can do that. Um, certainly. Do this with it, holding it up like this. a little bit heavier that's not too bad see I might go a little heavier Like that and then still have a little bit of wet it's a little shiny just here so I'm gonna flip this guy over carefully and I'm gonna set him down and I'm not gonna pick him up I'm gonna keep him flat down and hopefully I don't smush or mess anything up and I'm gonna leave him lying down when I dry brush And then I'm just going to go across the back like this. So I dip in. You can't see that. So I'm dipping in, I'm wiping off, and I'm just tapping it on my paper towel a little bit. And then I'm dragging it across. This brush is a little smaller than what I'm used to, but it's doing the job. So I'm not going to remove as much paint off my brush. I'm going to go in a little heavier. In the spots. And you can go across the other way as well if you want. This is your bunny, you can do it however you want. So if you want less white, then you stop sooner and you put less on. If you want more white, you want to paint it solid, you can do that as well. It's entirely up to you. You can paint your bunny however you want to paint your bunny. There's no rules here. Uh, can you use the round 
chalk paint brush for this, the smaller one. Um, you can try. I find you when you're trying to do dry brushing, I find that um, the natural um, boar, is it boar hair, the, the light colored bristles, um, they're a little coarser, they seem to, and they're a little stiffer in a sense. Um, I find that they're easier to do the dry brushing with than um, the Klingon brushes. The Klingon brushes have super fine bristles on them and they're much softer. I've tried to do dry brushing. I haven't tried really hard to do dry brushing with them, um, but my first couple attempts with them, I wasn't really happy, and so I just went back to, to what I'm used to, and it's the, the um, this style. Um, flat, a flat brush with, um, with, the, with this color of bristles, the, the light colored bristles. I just find that they work better. It's, and it's what I'm used to, so, but you can certainly experiment and try. Okay, so this is pretty dry now, so I'm flipping it over and I'm going to start doing the dry brushing on the front side. So again, you're going to dip in and you're just going to drag it along. And this is just going to soften the whole, the whole bunny up. See how that's coming? Okay. Mr. Bunny is looking mighty fine. There we go. I think we are done. And then the bunny just sits in her stand like so. There we go. I need you to wobble. There we go. One completed Easter bunny, dry brushed and nice beautiful spring colors on him so that is how i did um the, the easter bunnies before um that were in the pictures for the the workshop and now the easter bunny is complete so if um some of you are following along if you have any any other questions um please post them here if you're watching this at a later date and it's not live because I am going to post this because some people did say that they were just going to um, work on their bunny on their own time then um, certainly if you have questions um, message me or if, if you're looking for an answer sooner than later because for some reason I don't get notifications from the group page for some weird reason but um, so message me on uh, the Red Wind Studio Facebook page and I will get back to you a, a lot faster, probably, because I get notified for those messages. For these ones, for some reason, I don't. But anyways, um, but yes, so guys, enjoy your bunnies. I hope to see you all here at the studio soon. I really hope that we're able to um, join together and, and have some workshops here again um, sooner than later. But in the meantime, stay safe stay healthy, and stay creative. Have a great rest of your night, guys. Thanks so much for um, joining in tonight. Thank you.